Their review will include a comprehensive look into the causes, context, and the circumstances that gave rise to the terrible and tragic events that took place in April of this year. It will include an examination of law enforcement responses and the steps taken to communicate with the community to support and engage with victims, families, and affected citizens. And I'll also add that other areas of focus will include their involvement, the involvement of gender-based and intimate partner violence, and the perpetrator's access to firearms and police equipment. From the outset, Minister and Fury and I have, have designed with consideration not to cause any further harm to victims, their families, or individuals directed by this tragedy. The review panel will conduct their work in a way which is at all times trauma-informed and uses restorative principles. We have also ensured that the panel will have independence required for an impartial and transparent investigation. We have asked them to deliver an interim report to both ministers in February of 2021, and they will issue their final report in August of 2021. Both reports will be made public in their entirety. I have directed the full cooperation of the RCMP, the Canada Border Service Agency, the Canadian Firearms Program, and all other federal implicated organizations. We understand that this review represents an important step forward as we look for answers for the families and friends of the innocent victims, and we, we learn how to ensure that nothing like this happens again. 